G'day, Rowan Ellis here, Equity Solar Brokers. In another episode of the Solar Lovers podcast, we're going to tackle the idea today, is solar doing, uh, is, is solar worth doing without a battery? See, because that's the most common question that actually comes up. Oh, you must have solar with a battery, people will say. I got told by a solar company that if you don't have a battery, all of your energy goes to the grid for peanuts. And where's the joy in that? And then you've got stuff in the news at the moment about the poor buyback rates, claiming that consumers don't get a fair deal on solar buyback. And I'm here to tell you that right now, with current rates and current policy, solar consumers are getting a fair deal. Well, maybe it's not fair enough, but it's pretty darn close. And so if you're uh, with us today on YouTube or you're with us today on LinkedIn or something like that, what we're looking at is the image of uh, 25 panels on a big corrugated roof, all right? And uh, 25 panels is a lot, but many homes in the city uh, can fit that much. And especially if you're in the category of people looking at solar, chances are you've got high power costs uh, and potentially a mortgage and the ability to borrow money for zero or 1% interest. And uh, the reason we're doing a big system today, while the reality is, is like most people will get less than 25, I wanted to demonstrate that 25 panels, uh, even without a battery, can absolutely be worth doing. Now, what's really interesting here is that if you put 25 panels on a roof facing mostly north, right, uh, industry standard software, by the way, go and check, opensolar.com, industry standard software says that those 25 panels, if they're 440 watt, they'll generate around about 16,000 kilowatt hours, all right? So if we go 16,000 and we consider, right, if there's no battery and the home doesn't use much of the solar, why don't we just flip the script completely? Why don't we just say that the home uses none of the solar, okay? So power station on the roof, it gets all sold to the grid. Worst case scenario is that you don't use any of the solar. And if that happened to you with 25 panels, what would be the outcome? So we take the generation of 16,000, or let's be a bit more precise, 16,049 kilowatt hours. We've just had a quote come in um, from a great company. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so let's multiply 16,000 by 17 cents. And we'll come back to the buyback in a minute. Right now you might be watching and be like, hang on a minute, Rowan. Someone told me you only get eight cents or 10 cents, which is true with some power companies, but there's more than three power companies that pay 17 cents or higher. So let's see these numbers, 16,000 kilowatt hours generated by a solar system, sold to the grid at 17 cents equals credits paid to you by the power company of $2,728 a year. 2728 Now, if you got 25 panels from a solar company who priced competitively and who did a good job and used really good equipment, you can get that quote through Equity Solar Brokers, by the way. But if you got a quote for 25 panels, could cost you somewhere near 20 grand. Maybe that's slightly on the light side, but this video does have to age. And in 2026, 2027, that's probably going to be too high a price. 20 grand, but you save 2,728, worst case, right? So if we go 20,000 divided by 2,728, right? You're looking at a payback period of 7.3 years. And you might think, gosh, that's a long time, 7.3 years. But here's the thing. Most solar panels these days have a 25 year product warranty, right? The manufacturer believes they'll last 25 plus more. And a lot of, actually, a lot of people out there will say, well, Rowan, what are you going to do at year 25? Are they going to go into the trash? Are they, are they still even going to work after year 25? And I guess the question is this. When you buy a new iPhone, which comes with a one-year warranty from Apple, do you expect it to break after one year? When you buy a new Mitsubishi Outlander, with a 10-year diamond drivetrain warranty. Do you expect the gearbox to fail in year 11? Absolutely not. See, solar panels have no moving parts. They're basically made out of sand. Really, silicon, you know, kind of similar, similar. And sand or silica rock, silica dioxide, whatever it is, 
it's always going to be a conductor, right? The sand on the beach will be, uh, well, a semiconductor for thousands of years. I'm not telling you your solar panels will last thousands of years, but if you get them cleaned by professionals, which doesn't cost much, have a look at ecoshine.co.nz. If you get your panels cleaned regularly, maybe every second year, by professionals, there's no reason why your panels shouldn't last 30, maybe 40, I don't, I don't want to say 50, but you never know, right? Actually, the greatest risk to solar panels uh, stopping working is corrosion in the circuits within the panel. And what causes that to happen, or could cause that to happen, is water ingress. And so one of the questions you should be asking is, how good are the rubber seals, right? How much do I trust this brand? And how long does the manufacturer actually offer a warranty for? See, because some panels out there only have a 12. I would say about 20% of New Zealand's panels uh, installed in New Zealand only have a 12 year warranty. So anyway, they're not all the same. I am absolutely ranting. Let's come back to the point. Seven years, it might seem like a long time, but if you're gonna be saving for 30 or 35 years, then that means you've got 23 years of savings and runway. So what does that look like? Again, if you're joining us on YouTube, let's have a look. So we forecast that power prices will go up by 2.5% a year, but that the buyback rates will only go up by 1.5% a year. It's a big conversation. We can come back to that on another day. But look, a $20,000 system will save the system owner nearly a hundred grand over 25 years. If that's not magnificent, I don't know what is. That's a great return on investment. And did you know that if you take the seven years and you basically divide 100 by seven, that gives us the ROI. Because here's the thing, 20 grand is 100% of the investment. So we go 100 divided by seven and that gives us the ROI. So 100 divided by seven equals a 14% return on investment. And that's on the basis that, you know, that all of the solar is sold to the grid, right? That's worst case scenario. 14% ROI. Stocks don't give that. The banks don't give that. Some would say that property gives a 14% ROI, but you're leveraged up to the max. And then you've got the risk of like tenants leaving and gosh, it's, it's painful, right? But hang on a minute. That's a 14% ROI based on selling it all to the grid. What if the home uses 25% of the solar, right? What if they use 25%? Well, the software says that the savings is 3,249. <gasps> so let's do some simple math. 3,249 divided by 20 grand. Oh gosh, let's go backwards. 20 grand divided by 3,249. Now we're looking at a six year payback right? 6.15. Same exercise, flipped in reverse. 100% of the investment divided by 6.15 is a ROI of 16.2%. Point of this video is to say that solar is absolutely worth doing without a battery. Don't let people say that it's not. If a solar company says you must have a battery for this to make sense, they are absolutely misleading you or they're misinformed would you want to do business with a solar company that's either misinformed or misleading how not <laughs> so hey get in touch equity solar brokers we make it clear we make it transparent we explore all of the complexities on your behalf we get you the best quotes from the greatest solar companies and we basically consolidate all of the great information that you give us and send it to our network of solar companies which in most regions is about 10 companies um, in, in the regions. So we do all the hard work, we get you the best quotes, and then we help you evaluate which quote has the most value. So thank you for your time. Thanks for listening. We absolutely look forward to chatting with you. Have a great 2025. And let's beat Australia to 100% renewable. That's our mission. And we are going to do it, little old NZ. We may be way closer to 100% renewable, but Australia is fighting tooth and nail to get there and we want to beat them. We want to make it happen. Have a great one. See you later.